You know, uh, just because you two are homosexual, so what? I bet you this car looks great. I'm in heaven. Do you think we look gay? The least of my worries. We're in stylish sunglasses. We got our, the top down. Yeah. And a Ponzi Roadster. Yeah. I think we look gay. You know, I hear that all the time. You hear what? That I'm gay. People think I'm gay. Yeah, you know, people ask me that about you, too. Yeah, because I'm single, I'm thin, and I'm neat. <laughs> and you get along well with women. Guess that leaves me in the clear. <laughs> <laughs> Live together? Live together? No, I got, I got my own place. Oh. And do your parents know? Know what? My parents? They don't know what's going on. <laughs> you don't know if your child's gay, you know what I mean? Right. Until he tells you. So I'm always like super pro gay, just in case. Right. So I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> I'm like, my friend just came out. Oh, we're so happy, you know? It's good that he came out. He's gay. And then I began to think, Maybe my son thinks I'm gay now. <laughs> like we each think each other is gay. <laughs> Leading uh, secreted heterosexual lives, acting gay around each other, to make the other one not feel bad. Right. <laughs> We're not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. I mean, it's fine if that's who you are. Absolutely. I mean, I have many gay friends. My father's gay. It's amazing how antique everything is. You know what's funny about your voice? It's very high and very low at the same time. Like when you said, it's amazing. It was like very high and gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, oh, antique everything. Antique. Yeah. Now, can I say it's very high and gay? Can I say that? I don't That's, have any I problem think... with that. Hey, come on, let's go. I thought we were going to take a steam. <laughs> no, no, I don't no, want no, any steam. steam. No steam. Well, I don't want to sit there naked all by myself. This is a sneaker shot? Yeah. This is the best day ever, man. <laughs> this is on me. What? Jerry, Don't no. This, no. OK. This just turned into a weird male date. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not at all. Come on, man. I'm going to get that lean green dream. I'm a very attractive guy, Jerry. You have a likability about you. Yeah, but likability is nothing compared to lovability. Lovability you is have lovability. That's just heard everything. What are we going to do? There's anything wrong with it. No, no, of course not. People's personal sexual preferences are nobody's business but their own. Larry Miller used to do a funny thing about when people would say, he's really gay. Uh, you know, what does that mean? So he enjoys it more than the other guys, or? Well, uh, I, it means that he behaves in a way that one, one would perceive him to be gay more readily than another person. I'm gay! I'm a gay man! I'm very, very gay. You're gay? Extraordinarily gay. <laughs> Steeped in gayness. You look good. Are you surprised? And then I become a conductor. Oh. What a joyful thing to get up there. They get up there and they're like... The waves of gayness that wash through you from time to time are, are amazing. Because you're, you're like one of the last men. You really have a manliness about you. But every once in a while, there's a, there's like a, a, a vanilla fudge marbling of homosexuality. It's yeah. a ribbon of it. It's a ribbon of it that just flashes through. Yes. Have you ever played a gay man? Oh, yes. Really? <laughs> My sister's told me all about you, Mr. Sloan. About you being an orphan and such. Must be a hard life for a kid. Well, well, well. <laughs> mm. To find I go, do you wear leather? Leather jeans, let's say, next to the skin, without, and he says, pants, meaning his underwear, and I go, get away. What kind of underwear do you wear? Still briefs. Really? Yep. Briefs over 60. Yes. I couldn't make the transition. Well, now they have a thing called the boxer brief, which is what I wear. Although they maintain separate residences, the comedian and his longtime companion <laughs> seem to be inseparable. Oh, no, the Associated Press picked up the NYU story. That's going to be in every paper. I've been outed. I wasn't even in. 
No, everyone's gonna think we're gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, may I have two men, please? Is gay marriage legal in Connecticut? I don't believe so. <sighs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> There we go. I mean, how could you two keep this a secret from me? It's not true. Ah, enough lying. The line is through. Oh, come on, Jerry, the masquerade is over. You're thin, late 30s, single. So are you. Yeah. <laughs> Why is everything uh, gay with you? I like gay. Tell me I have a shot that we'll have a brownie together. Just get the brownie. I'm yeah, not going to do it by myself. All right, I'll have some. We're going to share a brownie. Yeah. You want me to cut it for you, or you guys are going to do it? I, I think do. it would be a little too romantic if we do it. No, <laughs> yes, we're not we cutting. You, no, we, no, we no, weren't. No, you didn't want I don't to. want to be that romantic with you. Okay. Yeah, you just want to know how I am in bed. I'm so yes. excited. My whole diet up. This is it. You ready? Biggie smells it like a Beaujolais. Oh, we're having a good time? Yes. See, I need you to tell me we're having a good time. Come on. All right, tell her. Go ahead. Tell her what? You know, about us. Are you crazy? So far, this is a great date, isn't it? Uh, this is beautiful. If you were a pretty girl, I think I'd be doing pretty well so far. Nice car, beautiful day. I take you to nice places. You can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not true! <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that! <laughs> you stupid idiot! Oh, please don't be upset. Oh, we just stop it with that stuff. <laughs> What's going on? All right, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not gay. My name's Buck Naked. I'm a porno <laughs> actor. Really? Oh, my God. Hey, how you doing? Hey. How you doing? Oh. Hello. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> He's the phone man. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs>